home with Mike. We're on a sidewalk. Gary's here too. He's talking to a homeowner. I guess they're asking him what, what he's doing. But I'm on the side of the road, so I hope this car misses me. So, so Mike is on the board. We think it's silver. It could be a aluminum token, but it looks good. It looks like he's got silver. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. And we're gonna start this video. All right, Mike. Good signal. Yeah, it was really good signal. Let's check it out. It looks old, man. I hope so. Oh, it's got weight. That's good. What is that? Oh man, that's is that an SLQ. Is that SLQ. Oh. SLQ, it's buddy. It's been a while on that one. God, that's awesome. Right here on the sidewalk. That's crazy, isn't it? That is amazing, dude. Oh, man. That's good. Mike, awesome job. Way to start the video, man. I need a nap now. You can't take a nap. If you can take a nap, I'm going to catch you. That's right. Good job, Mike. Right, we're in a yard. Um, gentleman asked if we could find his property stakes, and we found both of them up to the front. And got a couple wheats, and then I just got this. Nothing special, but it is a Roosevelt dime. It's silver. Happy to be on board. You can see Gary back there working. He's next. He's about to dick him one. Keep watching. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're just coming back from lunch. It's been a slow morning. We did get the SLQ mic and I got the Rosie. But we all got a few weeks. But we're at a spot um, hunted several years ago. There used to be an old church site here and there was a cat bust uh, dime found, which is pretty old, pretty rare. And there's an old cemetery back behind us um, where you know, it used to be the churches as well. But now the school district owns this. So we're going to try to get on some targets. We're also going to stop by the old Air Force Base because we're real close. There's still stuff out there. Maybe we'll get lucky on that and then we got a yard at the end of the day. Mike, Gary, y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's yeah. do it. All right, so Mike's got something. Don't know what. He said he's got a little relic. So what you got, Mike? What is it? It's a key. A key? Star Wars? Star Wars. Thank you. Yep, modern, but hey, it's a relic and it is Star Wars. Better Bugs all over me. We're about to try the old golf course. Good job, Mike. Air Force Base. One thing I've noticed, being the school district owns this, you can see a school way out in the district. You can see some bleachers right there. They made this into a field. So we don't want to do too much here. And plus, it's built up, it looks like now. I've dug a couple of zinc pennies in a six, seven inch range. So we're going to move on. Um, keep watching. All right, so we did come back out to where I left off in the last video. You know, I got a couple weeks at Brass uh, Golf Tee. You know, this place here is hit and miss. We dig, dig, uh, we dug some clad. That's about it. It's kind of hot and humid. I mean, it's not as hot as being. It's low 80s, but the humidity will get you. But Gary did get a cool find here. You know, we find a lot of cap guns and stuff on the channel, but we think he's got part of an old revolver. I mean, it's, it's brass, it's heavy, and he's probably said there's probably going to be a serial number on it somewhere. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be the real deal, or at least part of the real deal. So yeah, that's definitely a cool find, man. Best relic good of the time. day. Good job, Gary. Had a good time. Yeah, well, we're gonna go hit this yard. It's about 35, 40 minutes back, the other direction in our hometown. House is probably from the 30s, brick house on the corner lot, no backyard, but a decent sized front yard. So we're gonna get after it. Stay tuned. We got a YouTube. You ever go on YouTube? No. We got a YouTube channel. I'm gonna record them. What's it called? Dig that beep. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna. You have to look it up. So we're in this yard now. Not a lot of stuff. A lot of clad, and we're giving the clad to the homeowner's son. So he's racking up here. But uh, Mike finally got on board with another piece of silver. Mike, let's see what you got. Let's see what I got. Check it out. It took him forever to find it. It was just kind of. Oh man, over. all that. Digging for a rosy. Well, I got a rosy day too, so. I'll take it. It's been a tough day, so it's good to have some. 56, let's take a look at it. I bet the homeowner's son already got three bucks and plaid. 
and we, we're giving all the clad to him. And I give him a wheat penny as well. I found one wheat in front. Mike, good job, man. Thank you, buddy. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. So Gary's catching back up with us. He just got another piece to a pistol. That's going to be the handle. And again, it's brass and heavy, so I think that may have come off the real deal. Gary is finding all the pistol parts today. He ain't got a full pistol, but he's getting pieces <laughs> of it. All right, man. Good job, Gary. Appreciate it, John. You're welcome. All right, so we're wrapping this up. We've been all over the place. we got some good stuff. Not a lot of stuff. Gary got some pistol parts from a real pistol. Got a rosy, a lot of weeks. Mike got a rosy and an SOQ, which was the find of the day. Gary got the relic of the day, though, with the pistol parts from the real pistols, which is pretty cool. And to get two of them in one day, that's pretty neat. That don't happen often. But uh, we're going to call it. We're going to head back to the house, get some dinner. And uh, just make sure you like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for notifications. And when you're out, you take them, make sure you dig that beat. All right, so me and Mike, we're out. It's an evening hunt. We've got about an hour and a half before dark. We've got two little mill houses here. and. One of them looks more appealing than the other, so we're going to start with it in case we get on some targets and run out of daylight. But stay tuned, and we're going to see what we can do. You can see Mike right beside that tree working on a target. I just got this here. It looks like a smashed penny. I'll get some close-up pictures, see if we can identify it. I don't know. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Hitting right around what a wheat penny should hit, so hopefully that's what that is. So what you got, Mike? Valve stem cap, Model T. Model T valve stem yeah. cap. It's cool. It is cool. It's definitely old yeah. and definitely a cool relic, man. Good job, Mike. Good job. Thank, you. Thank you. All right, so we're finished. Both those yards were flops. We got, in this first yard, we got eight wheat pennies, or nine between us, and the one flattened one I got from the railroad is a wheat penny. I could get enough detail to know that. But uh, it just wasn't happening in the second yard. Super trashy. I mean, they just, they tore the whole yard. It was all grew up, and it was just a trashy, trashy lot. So, Mike, we're gonna get it next time. Try again we gotta later. keep trying. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn out the bell for notifications. Peace.